Hi, my name is Haley and I'm a stylist on Vigaro. Today on Try This, I'm going to show you how to do my signature wave. So to prep my curls, I like to begin with the Kerastase Cement Thermique and the Aleo Relax by Kerastase as well. If this is going to be an oil. It's really smooth and sleek in the hair. And then this is a leave-in conditioner that has heat protectant in it. Because we're heat styling today, I like to use this guy too. So here are these two. To begin, I am going to use just a little bit more of this Creme Magistral by Kerastase. It's a nice light hold treatment for your hair. And I'm gonna use about that much in there. And just spread it through my hair. Mainly on the ends. That's where my hair normally gets fairly dry is on the ends. Okay. And then I'll brush that through. We are good to go. We're gonna take out my earrings real quick too. I normally will section right here at the temples. If you have thicker hair, I would definitely recommend doing another subsection. But for me, this seems to work. I'll twist my hair around and clip it in. This is my Hot Tools iron. It's an inch and a quarter, and I use it all the way on the highest heat possible. I'm gonna take a little section right behind my ear and throw it in. I like to start in the middle and leave some of the ends out, just like that. I pull it down just a little bit more because my hair is a little bit longer, and I'll pull the ends through like that. Around the face, I like to do the curls away from the face. And these guys I won't leave on for too long because the hair is a lot finer. Just to break down how I curl, I start in the middle, right up near the root. I'll twist it on, let it sit for a little bit, pull it through, and then I'll undo one of the loops. I'll keep it going, pulling it down, undo one of the loops. Another benefit of doing this is it's cooling down in that motion right there, so it's actually going to be helping it stay tighter. And then I'll pull through the ends. Once I get to this portion, all of the hair on my bottom is done. I'm going to let it sit and not touch it. That's my biggest tip. Do not touch it when it's hot. So I'm going to let this guy down, maneuver it down, and try to let those other pieces do their thing. On to the last section. I like to do these guys a lot tighter. Um, I like to have more of a curl up top that's going to be tighter and a little bit more curly-like. And then on the ends, I like more of that loose wave with the straighter end. So going into that, I will take smaller pieces like this and really focus on making these tight. This is where I like to spend a lot of my time is right here around my face because nine times out of 10, I'm looking at this every day. So I like to take this little guy right on the corner here, do it a little bit softer and just have it hang right there. This guy you can notice is gonna be a little bit tighter right behind, but this one's gonna frame my face so I want it to be a little bit looser. The amount of hair that you grab definitely will reflect on how tight or how loose the curl is. So this guy is gonna be a little bit bigger. You can tell when it wraps around the iron, it's going to be a little bit looser when it's hanging. As compared to this guy, if you put this guy in, it's gonna be a lot tighter and hold that shape a lot better than a bigger chunk of hair. My biggest tip too is to get as close to the root as possible. It's really gonna help make this a little bit more voluminized throughout the day. Towards the back of my hair, I know it can be a problematic area. So my biggest tip is to get out another mirror and turn around and check it out. Um, I will go through, kind of split it in half so my range of motion is better and grab from there. Now I know I have to do this guy, and we'll move on. Now that I've finished, I'm gonna put my curling iron back down so I don't burn my counter. 
And I'm going to sit like this for as long as possible. I know you look crazy. I look crazy. It's fine. If everything's got to chill out and that's going to be fine. That's going to be what essentially holds it throughout the day. So I'm just going to sit for like 10 minutes. I've been sitting here for a few moments and I am going to show you some products that I like to finish with. The first is the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil Spray. This is a dry finishing spray. So this is going to be super soft in there. It smells really good and I love this guy. For those days that I'm going to be in the salon and I need my hair to hold, I'm going to use the Care Sauce VIP Volume and Powder. It's a texturizing spray and I love it. The first thing that I do is I like to rake through the ends of my hair like this. So I'm gonna rake through just like that underneath and kind of zhuzh up all the way to my root. Through the ends. Once I get to the top, I make sure I go all the way to the root. I break up the curls. And we are good to go. My biggest tip is the bigger the better. Honestly, that's what's gonna have your hair hold throughout the day. So. I will keep on going. Thankfully this is a light spray so it's not going to be too intense in there. Plus it smells really good. And this is about the finished product. It's a fun kind of undone wave, a little bit tighter than most, a lot of volume at the root here, and a little bit of frizz. A little bit of frizz is not necessarily bad, I kind of like it actually. So this is the finished look. It's nothing too crazy, but definitely a fun style for during the week. I know I do this pretty much every day, so I'm sure you guys can too. My biggest tip is VIP after to hold some texture in there. It's nothing too crazy, not too heavy. If you like this tutorial, please like and comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also we have a blog. Let us know what you wanna see next in our next video. Also, don't forget you can book this style on Vigaro in a salon near you.